Hey guys, so today I easily created this simple eye yet bold look because you know not everybody has time to go the extra mile and definitely not me because you guys know my life with Christian is <laughs> real. Be careful. Right, so I created this simple eye using like literally three shades, but you can easily um, substitute the outer corner, the outer V shade for just the crease, for just the crease um, shade, and just the just the lid shade. So this can easily be a two shadow look and paired with a bold lip or you can go brown you can nude it out you know anything you want to do it's up to you because it's your makeup it's your face um but if you're interested in seeing how i created this look guys then just keep on watching please subscribe guys give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notifications all right so i'm just going in with the morphe 35o palette and I'm using this shade as my crease, crease shade. As I said before, you can go ahead and use this um, all over the outer V. But I'm using this uh, shade right here in the outer V. And I'm just going, I'm just blending that in. But as I said, go ahead and use um, the crease shade if you're, you know, it's just a hassle. <laughs> okay. And so now I'm spritzing the brush and I'm using that shade that I showed you guys that everybody loves. And I'm using this all over the lid. And that's literally all we're doing. If you want to go ahead and add liner, by all means do that. But this was just quick and simple on the go. So now we're just going to go ahead and put mascara on. So I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic and I'm doing one coat um, because I'm not trying to get clumpy lashes. I'm trying to get them wispy in order for them to look flush with my uh, Demi Wispies. Not that it matters because even if, it, if, even if it's clumpy, nobody's going to see you when you have on your lashes. But you know, I'm just saying, don't make your eyes so heavy with um, coating your coating your mascara so much. But if that's what you want, then girl, go ahead. All right, so I'm just making my lashes dry, get tacky a little bit, and I'm pushing down my lashes because I have a curler. It's just, I, I don't, I, I mean, I just know how to do this. If you want to spend the time to reverse curl your lashes, you know, to make them flat, to go on, by all means, go ahead. But, you know, as I said, time crunch, and when you're, you know, when you're on that time and you have to go, you improvise in so many ways. All right. So I'm just putting my lashes together and make sure that you get as close as possible to the lash line. Now I'm going to be trying out this Blending Artist Sponge by L'Oreal. I'm going to prime my face with the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. And even though I used that little amount, it still was too much. But I mean, it's whatever what are what, what am I gonna do okay I'm just blending it and I love the way that this makes my face look now remember I told you I used this for my birthday and I'm going to insert a picture that you can see the flash because I knew it gave me flashback guys but I love it so for the daytime it's perfect so I just dipped the sponge in it and it got so much product and look at that coverage like I absolutely love this but as I said um, on the night of my birthday, sometime, you know, in, in different lightings, it was like some lightings, you can tell that there's foundation or, you know, it was a little bit off for my skin tone. And in some lighting, it was just perfect and, and illuminating and fresh and nice. But I mean, it's a love hate relationship. I do like it because it doesn't make you feel like you have anything on your face. Like literally it's air. It's like skin guys. I absolutely love it but 
with that one dip, that's the amount that's left on it. And I'm going to do another dip to do the other side of my face. And it, um, if I wanted to get, to make it fully cover everything, then obviously I would go in with a second layer, but I didn't because you guys know me. Um, I just can't, I'm not, I'm not that cake face person, but, um, I like the coverage that it gives the, and it's able to build up to full coverage. So that's a plus and it feels like air on your face, as I said. So I'm going in with these two lovely concealers. That's my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe and the Age Rewind to just give me a little brightness. Um... In light, and so I'm just using the other end of the blending tool a sponge, and this is a very soft, like I like it. Uh, I've never tried the beauty blender, I've only been using um the knockoff <laughs> beauty sponge that was bought, like I think it was in Forever 21 or one of those stores, and then I upgraded to the real techniques uh orange sponge. Um, excuse me, which worked pretty well. I loved it. That's what I've been using. It does good. And now I'm trying this and um, it works even better. So I'll be getting another one of these sponges. Okay, so now I'm just, of course, setting my under eye with my little puff thing and I'm going in with some glitter now just get a little eyeliner brush take it off and go underneath the lashes try not to glue your lashes together because I did that before I added mascara oh yes you know I can get a little clumsy but I try to tell you guys when I make the mistakes so you guys don't so I'm using this in fixation it's the Milani Amore lip cream 33 in fixation as I said before and it's such a pretty color. Like, I've had this forever and I've never used it. I have... Oh, my God, guys. Okay, so this is uh, the... Ooh, what is this? The Physician Formula highlighting thing. So I'm using the gold shade down the bridge of my nose, which I wish I just used the reverse. So I wish, instead of using on my cheeks, which I'm going to show you right now, those that pink bar i wish i had used that down the bridge of my nose and then the gold on my cheeks i think that would have flattered me more better uh, much better i don't like the gold down my nose it's a preference thing guy you know <laughs> you know me so i'm just fixing that with the um uh, make it milani make it last setting spray and that's the finished look guys i hope you guys enjoyed it of course um it's not too uh boring as i'm always boring but <laughs> see you guys <laughs>